Welcome everyone. My name is Ruth and here on this channel, I introduce you to God through various ways. And also I do this by presenting to you the word of God that comes directly from this book, the Bible. So on this channel, we use the Bible as our reference. So if you don't have a Bible, I have a link in the description where you can buy one off the internet or you can download a free soft copy. Should you eat pork? Should you be eating any meat at all? In this video, I will be addressing this. I will be going over the clean and unclean meats. I will be also introducing to you some scriptures that are often misunderstood as it pertains to our diet. So if you are interested in learning about this, if you're a meat eater, if you don't normally consider what you eat, you just go ahead and eat anything that you feel like eating, this video is for you. And if you are someone who know the food laws that are written in the Old Testament and you have been led to believe that these laws are done away with, this video is for you. So stay tuned to the end. If you are a new viewer, consider subscribing to the channel for contents like these. And if you are a returning subscriber, like the video if you do and leave a comment below. In addressing the matter of eating meat, I will take you directly to the beginning. In the beginning when God created us, when God created humans, God created the animals and everything else, God designated for us a specific diet. The diet that God had designated for us was plants. That is the fruits, the vegetables, and the herbs. The animals also ate plants. They ate the fruits, vegetables, and herbs. So all living creatures, the humans, along with the animals, the original diet in the Garden of Eden was plants. We were all vegetarians. We saw in the Bible where this diet changed after sin. When sin entered the world, a lot of things changed. One of the things that changed was our diet. God permitted us to eat meat, but he permitted us under certain circumstances. In the book of Leviticus chapter 11 and Deuteronomy chapter 14, God gave us specifics on what is clean and what is unclean. In the book of the Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 2 it says, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on earth. Whosoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. Some unclean animals would include the pig, one that we all know, the pork that we love to eat. This animal, the hooves are parted, but it does not chew the cud. The animal, in order to be considered clean according to the Bible, has to do both, chew the cud and the hoof part. Some other animals include the rabbit, the camel, and more. I'll link some in the description for you to go over. Now moving on to the animals that dwell in the water. In Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9 it says, These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Now the identifying mark for the clean animals in the waters is that they must have fin and they must have scale. So some of the commonly eaten seafood, like the crab, the lobster, those type of shell food, the mussels, they don't have fin and they don't have scales. So those animals would be considered unclean. Now moving on to the birds. Now in Leviticus chapter 11, 13 through to 19, God identifies carrion eaters and birds of prey as unclean, including ostriches, storks, herons and bats so when i say carrion birds 
referring to the birds that feed on other animals' flesh, like the vulture, the eagle, and other birds. Now, some of the birds that are considered clean for us to eat, these include birds such as chicken, turkey, and pheasants are not on the unclean list and therefore can be eaten. Now, as it pertains to insects, all insects are unclean except the locusts, crickets, and grasshoppers are clean for us to eat. And taking a closer look at these animals, the unclean animals that God said we're not supposed to eat, they're divided into two groups. They are either scavengers, and we all know what scavengers are. They clean up the garbage. So the scavenger animals, they would feed on the dead animals, the dead plants, even decaying humans they would feed on. So those are the animals that God said we're not supposed to eat. And the other category are carrion animals, animals that feed on other animal flesh. So they would eat decaying animal flesh. They would also eat animals that are diseased, and when they eat those animals and they ingest those type of parasites, if we go ahead and we consume them, those diseases and those parasites, those bacteria, will be introduced to our bodies and it can cut our life short or make us sick. And even taking a closer look at the clean animals that God provided, they are all herbivores. The cow, right? The cow eats only grass. And the digestive system of the cow is so complex. It has four stomachs and it takes up to 12 hours for whatever is eaten to be digested. So when that food is passed through such a complex process, it is purified and we can eat that type of meat. Now, look at the pig. There's no specific diet for the pig. The pig is a scavenger, so it eats anything if you cut my hand off and give it to a pig, he'll eat it. The pig will eat his dead offspring. It eats anything. And the pig is butchered, brought to your table. All those disease, those parasites, those germs are on your table. You eat them and you make yourself sick. When we partake of these unclean foods, God detests it. He does not like it. It makes him angry. Let us go back to Isaiah and see what Isaiah have to say about these unclean foods that we eat. In Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 2 to 4, it says, I have spread out my hand all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts, a people that provoketh me with anger continually to my face that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves and lodge in the moments, which eat swine's flesh and the broth of abominable things in their vessels. So this scripture identifies that when we eat the unclean food, it's a rebellious act because God clearly stated that we should not do it. And when we partake of this, it makes God angry. If you are someone who consumes unclean foods, now is the time for you to look into yourselves and ask yourself, am I willing to obey God rather than my own desires. Do you believe that God is creator of all things, including us, animals, and everything that we see? Then if you believe that, you should trust God's judgment. He is the creator, and there must have been a reason why he told us not to eat these animals. So in your spare time, you can go over Leviticus chapter 11 and Deuteronomy chapter 14 in order to become familiar with these specifics of the clean and unclean animals. Now there are some scriptures that are often taken out of context and are used to say that 
these laws are abolished and they no longer apply to us. Let us go into the scripture and look at these scriptures that I referred to.